All right, so Eric and I are at the archery range today. Beautiful spring morning here in Arizona. Um, today, aside from just getting like some general practice and repetitions behind the bow, which is always good, for me today, what I'm gonna put a big focus on is that long range shooting. So like that from 60 to 100 yards area. I think there's a lot of benefit to being able to shoot longer distance like that. Not saying you're gonna shoot an animal at that distance, but I do think there's a lot of benefit, which I'll go into later. But this is just another step in the process for me of getting my bow ready for hunting season. And I think it's a critical step that in the end ultimately provides a lot of confidence in the field. We have a, a sheep here at 60 yards now. Uh, before I shoot this, I kind of wanted to go through a few of the reasons I really like practicing out to these distances and beyond. And the first one is at when you're at long distance, man, everything is magnified, okay? It really makes you pay attention to these little things about your form that don't really have that much of an effect at least you can't see that much of an effect at like 20, 30, 40 yards. But when you get out to 60 yards and beyond, these little tiny things will throw your arrow off, you know, four inches to the left or five inches to the right or whatever. Uh, things like face pressure on your, on your face when you're anchored in, you're gonna be able to see that stuff at longer distance. So if you have too much face pressure, you're a right hand shooter, that's gonna cause a hit to the left because it's gonna make your basically make your bowstring kind of like deflect off your face and cause your bow to torque a little bit to the left so just in general like it makes you pay attention to the little things more which then when you you, you do have those shorter distance shots when you're in the field it makes those things like nothing because you're super dialed from getting dialed in at those longer range shots and then for the field what i really like about the long range thing is yeah you might not be like yeah i'm not looking to shoot an animal at 90 yards but like if i shoot an animal at 40 yards they run out there and they're still standing and they're at 90 and i have another shot opportunity i'm absolutely going to take that shot um just because i feel like once you've touched them once you've actually touched the animal with your arrow or bullet or whatever you have a responsibility to try to put that animal down as quickly as possible. So, and that's part of that. So that's, that's another reason I like practicing long range. <laughs> well, I got him in the neck and clipped his head on one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
12 ring buddy. Awesome. This is one of my favorite shots on the whole course. It's not a long range shot, but it's a great like hunting scenario shot. Downhill, 40 yards. Uh, uh, this is a turkey, so that's not that inspiring to shoot. Sorry, turkey guys, but bears are better than turkeys. Angle shots, you wanna, you wanna come to full draw level. Anchor in, level the bubble, then bend at the waist. Dude, <laughs> <Here to laughs> <place> that one. <laughs> All right, so we we just came to our to our first target at the 80 yards. So this is so my pins are 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70 yards. So um, I wanted to kind of show you how we're shooting past the pins. So all you do it's it's just the, the style of sight. This is a slider sight. So there's a sight tape right here. If you see, that says 70 right there, which means that that bottom pin is 70 yards. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna loosen that, we're gonna roll this down to 80, where it says 80, which now means that that bottom pin is set to 80 yards. This sight tape right here is like configured through like all a bunch, a bunch of data on the bow, like the arrow speed, arrow weight, everything and you get this like mathematically configured sight tape to your bow. You, you obviously have to go out and proof this, but I've never had an issue with this. I think we got this one from Archer's Advantage, so uh, it's been pretty accurate. work that's why we practice not a bad group but they're all like a little low and to the left I'm sure it's me I was here the other day and hitting the X at 80 so uh, and this one fell asleep on that one I guess I don't know so gotta do better next time 100 yards on a caribou for this next shot See what happens. Got our 100 yard group here. A little low, but good group. Okay, so here's my first two shots here, a little low. Here's my third shot, that's better. And here's Eric's one shot there. So not bad for a football field, but definitely we, we could do better. didn't fall for it this time but always remember <laughs> after you roll the tape and you're shooting 100 yards or something like that roll the tape back because if you forget your arrow is going to go super high and it's going to go sailing over the target i lost a arrow on this target last time i was here so <laughs> gotta roll the tape back something i'm really trying to work on here so one of the things that i do that is a fault of mine with my archery is i I tend to not get into my trigger soon enough, which then if I don't do that, when I'm trying to pull and make the shot break, I end up at full draw way too long, my shot breaks down and I ultimately end up shooting lower than I would originally shoot because my bow arm gets tired and I start shaking. So that's something I'm really trying to, trying to work on and it really shows when you step back. Alright, 
so Eric hit almost the same spot that he hit last time with this one. It's just a little to the left. This one, he fell asleep. That happens sometimes. This one, I fell asleep. <laughs> but these three arrows are grouping great uh, at 70, but they're still a little low. I was trying to aim right here. Um, so I'm going to go shoot some targets with bullseyes on them. Uh, just a little easier to aim at, just to see if something's going on. I don't know if I'm getting tired or if my bow lost some poundage or something, but... We'll see. That was way low. Really low. All right, so good morning at the range. Uh, we came over here to these uh, fixed targets with bullseyes on them and stuff and confirmed my arrows are definitely hitting a little bit low. Um, and there's a noise that I'm noticing. I don't know if, I think I'm getting some contact on my fletching. Um, and if that's not it, I'm wondering if my pound has dropped a little bit, and that's why my arrows are hitting a little low. Something's going on though, so I need to go get that checked out. Um, this is why we come do this stuff, you know? You gotta, you gotta come out and test this stuff out and make sure it's all good. All right, a little bit of an update here. Just got done in the shop. Um, I didn't film any of this because there was a bunch of people in there, so it was kind of chaotic, but basically what happened, we figured out what was going on with my bow. I was getting lower hits, but grouping fairly good at these longer distances. And the reason that was happening was because my bow actually dropped six pounds. Okay, so that accounts for these low hits. And we are also hearing this noise on the shot. Like, what is that? So I was getting a little bit of contact with my fletching and cable. Basically what happened was incrementally over time, my cable guard, the screw there loosened and the cable guard moved incrementally to the left a little more and more, eventually to the point where I'm getting this contact. So that was not helping out my arrow flight at all. So we got everything fixed, uh, retuned it with paper, got broadheads and field points hitting the same hole again. So it should be ready to rock. Just a great example of like, if you notice something wrong, um, like don't sit on it, go get it looked at, you know, cause it could bite you in the butt come hunting season. Uh, glad we got that all figured out with the bow. Um, that was bothering me this morning at the range. Um, but it was a great, another great example of why shooting longer range is a good idea in my opinion. Just another benefit to it. Cause when you, when you stretch the distance like that, you are, you know, everything's magnified any inconsistencies in you as a shooter, any inconsistencies in your equipment is brought to light. And today was a great example of that. You know, just shooting 20 yards in my backyard, I obviously something was wrong with my bow and I wasn't seeing it at 20 yards. So being able to shoot 70, 80, 90 yards was really the distances where I was like, something's going on here. So just wanted to lay that out before I leave you. I hope that video was helpful. Hope you guys liked it. See you next time.